It is time now because in celebration of my new book that will be out on May 14th, which is what, Tuesday? I'm going to reveal my favorite interview of all time. Well, you love all the interviews, right? Yeah, I want to make that clear. Yeah. How should I do this, Robin? Should I just announce that the person is on mic right now? Uh-huh. Should I announce him? Or should I tell you why? Or how do you want to do this? I think I want to know why. Okay. I went home after the interview and I said, this is the first time in my life I feel like I asked every question I needed to ask. I feel like I had one of the most sincere conversations. And it was so fulfilling. It was funny. It was brilliant in terms of what the guest was saying. There were moments that I picked up on things in this, and then we talked about a variety of topics. You felt complete. I felt complete. That was a complete conversation. You couldn't have done it any better. This guest uh, has a TV show. I'll tell you that right now. This guest has a TV show. And and, and on his TV show, he can't reveal, I feel, all sides of him. And I don't think people even understand how super funny he is and how insightful and how bright. Hmm. And we got to know that. And I even thought, in my own delusion, I thought afterwards... Oh my God, this guest and I, we're, we're going to become like really good friends. He's like my brother. He's like my brother. <laughs> like he's the brother I would want. <laughs> and that person is uh? Mr. Conan O'Brien. <gasps> Conan, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Howard. You know, Conan, I always thought that, uh, because I just want to stay on this a little bit about picking you as the favorite interview of all time. It was very organic. Yeah, I think it's a, mis- I think it's a mistake. <laughs> you, no, I swear. I'm going to be really honest with you. I think, uh, you know, you had Paul McCartney, uh, Billy Joel. I think, uh, I think you're going to regret this. Don't you admit that sometimes you have a guest, you vibe with that person, and you think, maybe you don't experience this, but... But you think, oh my goodness, we just had this incredible connection and we'll probably end up calling one another, but there's really no facility for that. And like when you no, left. That, I, yes, yes. Yeah, I thought yeah, like, I know oh, what you're talking about. I should call Conan and somehow have a relationship with him, but you don't, you never do that, right? You know, I don't, but I know exactly what you're talking about. For example, when you and I had that interview, I left and this is like two people that, uh, you know, it's like we had sex. Right. And then we, uh, and and in a lot of ways, I think we did. And uh, that day, I agree. And then we stumbled. We stumbled away from each other. And what happened was, I felt, wow, I think that was really good. I really liked that interview. That was. I really felt like I connected with Howard. And then I was in New York, and I was walking around, and people were coming up to me on the street and telling me how much that meant to them. And I thought, what are you talking about? I mean, we just. I. I just. You know, I killed an hour with Howard. We had a good time. It felt good. But I never stopped hearing about that interview. And that's why I've been loath to talk to you since, because I've thought we're never going to, we're never going to match that. So I should just get out of the business. Well, that's what what I've been, what what we've been trying to do. (laughs) (laughs) 